Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we will continue the ICT IGCC paper two. We are doing a May June 2022 paper variant 21. So if you check out the previous videos, you can see we've already completed document production and data manipulation. So now in this video, we're going to be doing a mail merge part of this paper. So let's scroll down to page 10. The evidence documents is already set up and you can see I've completed some screenshots. I've taken some screenshots from the previous tasks already. Okay, so mail merge, task four. Let me just change the color to that, uh, to orange. Right, so you are required to carry out a mail merge using a customer inquiry form. So to create a mail merge document, so create a mail merge document using the file j2221 inquiry.rtf as the master document and j221 details.csv as your data source. So in a mail merge, what we do is we link the contents of this file to this one master document. The master document will be the same for all of the recipients. So these will be the fields, um, surname, forename, telephone, coming from this file, which will be linked to this master document. So the first thing that we need to do is open up the master document. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So here's a master document. Uh, you can see where we have these uh, brackets. We'll have to insert the merge fields. But before we can do anything, um, let's make the mail merge. So what you do is you click on mailings, start mail merge, step by step, mail merge wizard. Next, select the recipients and then go to browse. So what we're going to do now is go to documents, go to your source folder. And let me double check the file name again. So it's ending in details, that's CSV. Um, this one here, make sure the file is not open before you create your mail merge. And here you can see all of the recipient data. So this is going to be linked to this uh, document here. Okay, so we've made the link between the two files. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to replace the text and chevrons and the master documents with the merge fields from the data source. So we need to replace these with the merged data. When we are doing it, uh, you need to make sure that spacing, punctua punctuation, alignment and any enhancements in the original master documents are maintained. So what we'll do is we'll do three at a time. So we'll do last name, first name and telephone. So you just simply highlight, you go to insert merge fields and we can put in surname, telephone and the first names. And in a minute we'll do a preview for name. Yep, that's that done. So if you go to preview, and if we skip forward, you can see the content of the CSV file has been merged with this um, Word document. So the great thing about having a master document is that you make the changes only once for all of the, of the recipients. Okay, let's go back and let's do the next three. So we'll do inquiry number, type and depart port. This one first. type and we'll do this. I want to maintain this comma so I'm just going to put space first, highlight this and we need a departure port. So double check to see which fields need to be merged in. So now we'll do country, guests and, gab and cabins. Yes. Cabins and uh, depart date, days, days duration, and weekly budget. Is it 
today's duration yes it is and then weekly budget is the final field that we need to merge together and we need to make sure we don't get rid of that pound sign uh, weekly budget let's do a quick preview oh, I need to go backwards yep all of the data is appearing and even that comma there is appearing okay now replace the text candidate details here with your name sentence number and candidate number and then save and print the master document showing the merge field codes okay so let's first of all find where yep so I need to insert where it says candidate details here name sentence number candidate number My name in comma center number I will use five six seven eight candidate number one two three four obviously you guys need to refer to your own details uh, I'm just checking here to see if there's anything here that we need to replace but I can't see no that's fine um, do we need to put the date in anywhere there's a space for the date but it doesn't mention the date anywhere um, that we have to put the date in no, so the master document guys, it's really important you get this right because this is where most of the marks will come from. So the master document includes the merge fields like this, okay? So not a preview, not like this. We need to make sure the merge fields are showing. Go to file, print, and again, you can check the preview to see if the merge fields are showing, and then you can send this to the printer. And um, obviously make sure you have included your candidate details where asked okay done now we need to set an automated filter to select the records where cabins is either the cabins is four or five um, so what we're going to do is go back here edit recipient list so we need to look on the cabins we want four or five so if we go to here filter let's select here cabins and um, let's type in here first of all four equal to four press ok so we've got two which are equal to four and if we click on filter again equal to five as well okay that's not working let me just check Let's do or instead. Um, let's try that again. Uh, cabins equal to five. I was trying to see if we can search in between values between four and five. Yeah, actually that's worked. So what we did was um, or so cabins is equal to four or cabins is equal to five. Let me just take a screenshot of this because we normally get asked for this. So I'll just take a screenshot of that. Okay, so what we have, if I press OK, is three recipients. Now we have um, these three people, uh, Dynaf, Luca, I think, and then Lawrence. Let's press OK. Go to Preview. Yep, Dynaf is there, if I'm saying it right. Luca and Lawrence, no more. Okay, so I've taken a screenshot. Let me place this into Evidence 7. So this is a very typical screenshot that we need to include um, evidence 7 okay save the evidence document and merge and print the customer inquiry form for the selected records only so if you want to print only for these recipients you go to finish and merge print documents and then press ok and this should print out for the three recipients that we've filtered uh, double check your printouts when you receive your printouts any mistakes guys just go ahead and print again if necessary okay so we've done that part and print in the evidence document just before you print your evidence document double check um, 
all of these screenshots are nice and clear so we've got evidence of the file type when we save the word document uh, some font styles that we've created or modified uh, this is database screenshots shown the tables uh, the relationship the formula used to count and the total number of bookings and the final screenshot was um, a screenshot showing the filter method so go ahead and print this make sure your name appears on every page yeah happy that great okay so we've come to the end of this video so if you join me in the next video we will be doing the presentation task so please drop your comments below good luck in your exams and thank you for your time